This is a Vibroplex bug. Um, this one is from around 1955, was supposedly new in the box. Um, when I got it, it was uh, needed quite a bit of cleaning, and its um, nameplate is loose, so uh, it needs some work. I've never used a bug before. I've thought that they're interesting mechanical things. They're a little bit difficult for a beginner like me to use because they go very, very fast. So, um, or their dits are fast. So what makes a bug unique is um, it automatically makes dits. So, or semi-automatically makes dits. When you press on the dit side, of course this is the dit side, it will make dits based on this little spring moving back and forth. And the speed at which you make them is based on how much weight is at the end of this pendulum. Well, you can see that I've uh, it has a weight, and I've wrapped it with some solder to try to slow it down. So I think it's slowed down to I don't know somewhere around 20 words per minute, maybe maybe a little faster. Um, so when you hear a bug operator work you, and you're operating at less than 20 words a minute, or I think normally a bug goes about 25 words a minute and up, um, you're going to hear a unique cadence. Um, it's because their dits are faster than their daws because they're trying to slow down for you, but their bugs just don't go that slow. So, here's an example. So you could hear the dits were much faster than the daws. It gives the bug a very sing-songy sort of swing to it, um, which makes it a little hard for a beginner to copy. Uh, but I fully understand now when I hear a bug operator and they slow down for me why they sound the way they do. Really interesting key. I'd like to uh, be able to use it on the air at its um, intended speed, but that's going to be a while. Maybe I need to wrap some more solder around it. Anyway, a little bit different than the straight key, for sure. Thanks for watching.